like to do here is we like to take the, the skills that our artists have and then somehow try to enhance them through different uh, methods of making art. Brandon has some instinctual abilities to paint and to trace very well. When he draws, it's very basic, basic symbols of circles, faces, uh, witches hats, Christmas trees, very basic stuff. But when we incorporated uh, projection and tracing, he was able to um, and enhance his ability to make uh, portraits and different architectural paintings. So that's basically what our method is working with him and everyone here is to try and find something to enhance their skills that they already have. to just offer alternative ways of allowing them to express themselves about the things that they care about most. And so introducing the arts just was able to give them a voice, especially for those people who can't tell us, you know, uh, I really like to do art, you know, or that's something I'm interested in. Uh, somebody like Brandon, you know, would not have come up to us and said that. quite a pleasure to see. Um, I can't recreate the type of environment you have here, but Brandon has always been into painting, and to see him flourish like this is, is um, just a joy. He's happy with it, and he's pleased with it, and it's something that he wants to do, and that's even more of a joy for me to see. It's been a lot to me. Um, when your child is first diagnosed with any type of disability, you, you, it, it takes a while for you to process it. And when you have an avenue that you can reach out to that's informative and nurturing and supportive of your journey that you're going through, um, it helps you be a better parent. They've been along with Brandon through good times and bad times challenging situations and they brought him through it beautifully. Brandon has been here for a long time and um, I don't know if he would, he would not be the person he is today if it wasn't for autism services and their programs and servicing and support 